Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about warm-blooded and cold-blooded animals. Are you ready? Let's begin! What is the difference between warm-blooded and cold-blooded animals? Let's begin with warm-blooded animals. Warm-blooded animals, also known as endotherms, have the ability to regulate their body temperature internally. They can maintain a relatively constant body temperature, regardless of the temperature of their environment. This internal regulation of temperature allows warm-blooded animals to remain active in a wide range of environmental conditions, from cold to hot climates. Birds and mammals are examples of warm-blooded animals. They possess metabolic processes that generate heat, such as shivering, increased metabolism, and insulation through fur, feathers, or fat layers. Warm-blooded animals typically have higher energy requirements due to the need to sustain their internal body temperature. Now let's talk about cold-blooded animals. Cold-blooded animals, also known as ectotherms, lack the ability to internally regulate their body temperature. Instead, their body temperature is heavily influenced by the temperature of their surroundings. As a result, the body temperature of cold-blooded animals fluctuates based on environmental conditions. For example, they become warmer when exposed to sunlight and cooler in shaded areas or during the night. Reptiles, amphibians, most fish, and some invertebrates are examples of cold-blooded animals. Cold-blooded animals often use behavioral strategies to regulate their temperature, such as basking in the sun to warm up, or seeking shade or cooler areas to cool down. Now here are fun facts about warm-blooded and cold-blooded animals. Live birth Most warm-blooded animals give birth to live offspring. While cold-blooded animals lay eggs, fur, and feathers. Many warm-blooded animals are covered in fur or feathers, providing insulation to help retain body heat. Hibernation and torpor. Some warm-blooded animals, particularly smaller mammals like hedgehogs and bears, enter states of hibernation or torpor during colder months. This allows them to conserve energy when food is scarce and temperatures are low. Temperature-dependent activity Cold-blooded animals are highly dependent on environmental temperatures for their activity levels. They are most active when temperatures are warm, and become sluggish or dormant in cooler conditions. Economic Metabolism Cold-blooded animals have lower metabolic rates compared to warm-blooded animals. This reduced metabolism means they require less food to sustain themselves, making them more efficient in energy use. Longevity some cold-blooded animals, such as certain species of tortoises and turtles, have remarkable lifespans. Metamorphosis Many cold-blooded animals undergo metamorphosis, a transformation process from larval to adult form. This is commonly observed in amphibians like frogs and salamanders, where aquatic larvae develop into terrestrial adults with distinct anatomical and behavioral changes. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about warm-blooded and cold-blooded animals today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.